All right, I said I wasn't gonna do any more, but I guess I'd like. This is a customer's Palomar 300A. Um, you know, the um, guy recapped it and, uh, uh, you know, went through it, you know, on his own, out of tech. And he said, man, looks like, you know, I recapped it and tested what I could and everything's working. Well, it's not working, but everything's keying up and lighting up and not blowing fuses and, I recapped it and you know did some of the stuff you said and it won't work and you know can I look at it and I'm like well you know it's a 300A um, and you know I say I eat these for breakfast so and I was hungry and wanted me some breakfast so I went ahead and took it so anyway um, this one had got me for about 10 minutes um, he had recapped it but um, you know he did it badly whereas um, it's unplugging it's drain but he had um, uh cut the old wires off here instead of unsoldering the board and the wires and you know putting it through hole through the holes and soldering it to the uh traces on the back uh you know people do it you know cheaply and quickly they just cut the uh, leads here and then they take the new cap and they solder it to the leads and uh, they had did that on quite a few of the caps I get I think probably all of them that they replaced and uh, I don't like that I mean that works but it's not um, you know study it's not rugged it won't hold up in time because you got you know a, a solder trace you know hanging here and then the ones underneath uh, you know this amp is 50 years old give or take and uh, it had a lot of bad solder traces on its own so you know it will never work right long when you do it you know when you take shortcuts and you do it that way so you know we recapped it and did it right we tested stuff as we went along so, um, you know tested the diodes also this amp did not have the uh, high voltage cutoff relay in there so the high voltage was on the tubes all the time so we actually added that relay there we put it on the board um, the high voltage relay um, and we even keyed it up with the low voltage and made sure everything keyed up and all and uh, also um, he thought it might have been in the keying circuit so uh, he had bought a Nomad uh, relay board and replaced the uh, original relay board and um, when I had problems with it too um, um, I had problems with the um, older board where it was keying the um, the main relay but the main relay uh, keys up the um, preamp relay and the antenna relay um, and then the high voltage relay too so this I think this one I'm not sure I didn't even test it but one of the relays keys up the other three you know when it keys down it uses a relay to key the relay and the only one that was keying down was the um, first relay so this one does have a problem so he gave me the Nomad board. Let's turn it around and look at that right quick. And I got something to say about your Nomad on your um, on your first version of the Nomad board, which is what he sent to. And Nomad had sent me one. Um, this works. No um, pre-amplifier in it. Just two relays. Because um, these are very hard to find. They're very expensive. Uh, so Nomad came out with this board right here where it's got a uh, you know modern easy to find low cost relay on it and then this is the Nomad uh, keying circuit on it and again there's no preamp on this board whereas this one does have the um, the preamp I think one one of these is the um, preamp transistor and one of them is the keying transistor that one looks more like a preamp and that one's probably the keying but anyway the Nomad uh, replacement board has no preamp relay and no preamp in it at all so it's not going to have the um, preamp working but works fine um, except for having a preamp but the one bug hey Nomad if you listening um, <laughs> your hole doesn't line up you know correctly with this one um, if you turn them back to back you know left or right it'll line up but uh, it's off maybe uh, uh, a half a trace or so and it's too is it too high or too low the old one you know lines up great as it should yeah 
trying to hold a camera and not see and stick it in there get it in the hole Ron so anyway it's all the way in and lined up and then there's the um, uh, the nut or 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 that's where it screws into I'm having a brain moment but anyway as you can see that does not line up it's off it's too low and it's um too far left so nomad you need to do a little bit more drafting and going back to the drawing board to get that to um to line up there guess i'll pick, show the other one right quick just to show you that um it's not the amplifier and it's not the hole on this one it's you nomad you did not line up those holes correctly when you did your draft work see that lines up perfect right but you put that nomad back in there and his hole don't line up so hey nomad get your hole right i can't get it in the hole me and a partner of mine we uh, kid that all the time so anyway that's the saying we use so i don't know if i want to drill a new hole or or leave that or what i want to do yet but anyway nomad your um your alignment needs a little bit of work other than that i do like this board and on his newer version of this um he made it he put all the circuitry and everything on the uh, main board not on the sub board so it's a little bit neater a little bit better design i hope he fixed his uh, hole while he did that but that's enough of that this is uh you know the customer's amp um it's been 10 meter modded but it left all the other components in it i always talk about four turns that's your four turns for 10 meters and normally it goes through the band switch and it switches all these wires and caps and stuff in but with the uh, 10 meter mod all that stuff is left in there and connected but you have this wire over here right from the 10 meter coil over here to the uh, load and to the output which comes on the other side of the load cap so it's been 10 meter modded and if you don't want you know it to be directly 10 meters just uh cut the uh jumper there and then you'll have the 10 and 40 meters um, you know not bad looking needs a little bit of bath we may give it a, a, a quick bath before we do it once we get it going but anyway we got it keying up all the things fine uh, resistance and stuff checked fine dials is fine new caps check fine and we were getting no high voltage out of it and I'm like doggone it I know I didn't tested everything and traced everything and uh, you know, I was confident in myself. I was sure that I had it because I could have done a few more tests, you know, before I put it all back together. But I had nothing out the high voltage. Low voltage was fine. Everything keying up. Bias is fine. But um, one, it wasn't drawing any more current current when you keyed it down. And that's a sign that your, your um, high voltage is not pulling at all. It should pull something, you know, uh, when you key down the uh, high voltage. And it was not. It was not moving my amp meter and uh, it was just doing nothing just sitting there no high voltage and then we went to testing and we got no high voltage out but we had the AC voltage coming in and it was driving me crazy like is it that uh, relay I put in there nope not that so we kept going and going and diodes good caps good and uh, we finally found it um, and uh, it's hard to see if you really don't know um, how things work and if you want to try to figure it out yourself put it on pause because I'm gonna tell you uh, what I found um, so if you want to figure it out for yourself and you know put this video on pause because I'm gonna tell you uh, what happened with it right so anyway hopefully everybody paused who wanted to pause and I'm just gonna go ahead and run with it um, see these traces here this is the uh, diodes one end of those diodes there right see these traces at the top where the, somebody um, you know I, I scraped that a little bit to try to get off um, you know resin and solder and residue and all that however whoever did this and it was not me um, I know better than that and you know and all that they they took out the traces so all four ends at this end of these diodes go to absolutely nothing they're open 
what it is is those two diodes are in series so these top two are supposed to be connected together in series and then again these bottom two are supposed to be connected together in series so what it is you had an AC coming in it actually comes to the middle two right here to both of them the AC comes in goes up to these two diodes and then it goes nowhere because somebody cut out the completely cut out the traces so we're gonna have to redo rebuild those traces across and across and after that we should be good to go it took me about 10 minutes to find that because I wasn't looking for that you know I'm looking for a bad part you know a solder joint so I'm you know testing across my diodes I'm you know keying up my relay and testing it and you know it's high voltage uh, so I'm doing resistance check and then I'm doing voltage checks and um, you know checking my new caps that I put in there oh and by the way uh, one more thing about this amp these bleeders which are the bleeders here um, they were both open so we actually had no bleed at all uh, you know on this amp originally so we replaced you know both the open um, bleeders they were old two watt carbon resistors and uh, we used the blue flame proof and another little uh, weird thing about this amp is that these two bleeders where are they there they are they are in parallel going to ground they go from the high voltage here straight to the ground that works that bleeds you know that bleeds fine that you put them in uh, parallel like that however on the other hand almost every modern amp puts the bleeders in series and also uses them for dual purpose they use the bleeders to equalize the caps here. So you have one bleeder across this cap and another bleeder across that cap. And those um, bleeders would also equalize the voltage on these caps. However, since this one does not have it across each cap in series, and you'd have to change the resistance, you know, to do that going from series to parallel. However, um, both of these go straight from the high voltage which is this um, solder joint right here to ground over there and they do not equalize it at all so if you have a problem with one of these caps you know like a tube where you know they're not equal want to start drawing more and if that happens in this um, you're going to have problems you know it's going to blow the caps on pretty um, quickly because they are not equalized um, by the bleed resistors but anyway that's about all I wanted to do um, on this one. I found it fascinating that uh, somebody cut the traces on the diodes. So basically, these diodes go to nowhere, nowhere veil. Uh, they just, you know, connected on one side, and on the other, they're just open because somebody um, um, cut out or, or, or removed the traces that go across them. So we plan on putting the traces back and. Um, if no crazy other you know problems like that this thing should be ready to go just wanted to show that you never know but like I said this this thing had about five other problems between you know no bleeders um, some cold solder joints on some of the wires coming in um, some cold solder joints on the tubes you know because the tubes run hot you got tubes on a circuit board um, the bias board right there was not screwed down very tightly it was pretty loose and it uses the uh, screws to the chassis to get it ground on the circuit board so um, that was a problem um, we actually even added this um, ground wire straight from the circuit board the bias circuit board over to the ground terminal on the, that circuit board so even if the screws get loose that's going to still have a good ground so this amp would have gave all kind of um, headaches and problems you know even if that was addressed with the cold solder joints and loose um, screws that it had but all right that's gonna be it for this one i thought i was gonna be fast but uh once i get to running my mouth i guess i can't uh can't shut it down all right be blessed out there bye